was close uh, up from the ball? How does it feel from the from team perspective? Uh, from the team perspective, it's, it's always good to qualify for the finals. Up until a couple of weeks ago, we were going for second spot, and that's probably the, the most disappointing uh, fact about um, making the finals, but definitely uh, very good to make finals again. Was it a bit, a bit nervy on the weekend against or Thursday night? Uh, no, I wouldn't say it was nervy because we're always confident in, uh, in winning games at home and, and performing quite well. The performance was very good. Unfortunately, we just didn't get the result. Um, I think the amount of young players coming through uh, at our club, I think that uh, you know, there were periods uh, this season where we relied on, on the young players and we got good results too with the young players. But with young players, you also get inconsistencies. Um, and you know, the amount of uh, players that have actually had to play this season has been uh, great. But in saying that, it's uh, been very tough because we've never had a consistent team on the park. When players play within your structures, it's important that you coach them um, during, during the season, so week in, week out, and players will play if they are ready to play and can play within your structures. And, and lucky for us, uh, we've got uh, some very smart uh, footballers at the club and, and they've done extremely well in those roles. How important has the experience in our squad been to complement uh, the younger players and their development? Yeah, it's been uh, great to have Craig Goodwin back. You know, you've got Tommy Urich, although he's been in and out with, uh, with a few injuries. Uh, ben Halloran, Jordan, Elsie, um, one day coming in, and then Harvey Lopez, um, Jakobsen, they've all been very, very good um, with the young players, and, and it helps a lot when you've got that experience to complement the uh, young, enthusiastic players. This, this weekend, you, you travel to Brisbane, play the way there earlier in the season, and you get a result. Um, a club you know quite well yep. previously. How, how do you see us matching up against them? It's going to be tough. Um, I don't see that we can't go there and win. Um, they uh, play very similar to uh, West Sydney Wanderers as far as their formation goes. Up front, they're a little bit more off the cuff than what West Sydney Wanderers are, but the same, they play with a back three and, and two wing backs. And, and I think that we've got players that, uh, that can exploit them. You know, the one player that I didn't mention is our captain, Stefan Mork, who's a young. Australian footballer, but with a lot of experience, and I think he, he can make a difference as well. Um, the league has lost some experienced players in international duty, uh, obviously with um, Socceroo. Um, so what opportunities can that provide for others to step up in their place? Oh, I think it's outstanding that uh, these young players have been given opportunities this season uh, in the A-League, especially those ones that are, are fighting for um, the Olympic spots to go to Tokyo, because I don't think that it's ever happened that there's uh, so many players vying for those spots and so close to the Tokyo Olympics. I, I, from what I can recall, um, generally those players would have to go into camp for a month or two before they even went to the Olympics. I think they'll go straight into the, uh, the Olympics uh, from the final series. So it's been, it's been great um, for the young players coming through. Um, probably not so great for those clubs that are missing those experienced players, but that's part and parcel of the game. Yeah, look, the finals are always, uh, you know, especially this season and last season, they're one-off games. Um, you know, you need a little bit of luck, and if you have your players firing on that day, then you, know, you can go all the way. But it's, it's an old cliche, it's one game at a time. Um, I think that, it, that it's very even now, especially with those experienced players from opposition teams going away with the national team. Um, especially Melbourne City, who are missing their, their number one striker. Um, so anything on the day, but hopefully that our players are fit and ready to go and, and put on a good performance.